What is good, YouTube? We're back with another video. Yes, sir. You know, we got a little bit of weekend league, weekend league gameplay for y'all. Um, and, you know, y'all see the, the overall. We are now at 84 overall. We have finally made it out of the 83s to now the 84s. Y'all see the, the new, you know, people on the team for the offensive side of the ball. Went ahead, picked up a tight end and two guards. And y'all about to see everybody. I, I mean, the tight end was kind of underwhelming, but the line played really good today. And y'all know who I picked up on defense side of the ball. I went ahead and picked up uh, Bud Dupree and Adrian Amos. Um, and I guess my main reasoning for picking up these guys is, you know, I, I was trying to, you know, give it a surprise feeling and all that, but I, I can't really hold it within myself no more. Um, I am 288 overalls away from getting 91 free safety. Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor. And he's going to be my user once I get him on the team. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, Acrobat on him. Um, and whatever else I can get on him. I'll probably just put Acrobat since he's going to be my user. But we're still going to have Mika. We're still going to have pretty much everybody on the team. And ooh, that should, that should be my ball. Um, but we're going to have everybody else on the team. He's just going to be a linebacker. Um, probably taking the place of like Amos probably. But I mean Amos is still going to be there. Look at this throw right here. I thought if that was Sean Taylor I was using. Nah, that would have been a pick. Um, Cause he one, he's tall. He's six two. I don't know how tall Amos is. So, you know, if that's a height difference thing, I'm gonna get there. He's faster than him. He has more hip uh, power. Uh, Excel, whatever. He's better at everything than him. So just imagine how good this team is gonna play. Um, when I have Sean Taylor, like it's, this team is gonna get two times better. And I know I've been working on offense a lot. I said I was going to get defensive players. I mean, I went ahead to get a, I got a whole bunch of people. Um, if I have Acrobat Amika, he's going to be able to play that. I do expect to get Acrobat on him. So hopefully he does and does acrobatic things for us. Um, but we actually, surprisingly, had run defense this game. Like, he, at one point, I think had negative yards or like no yards. Like right now he has three rushes for four yards. But we were actually pretty locked down when it came to the run game today. Some fluke, some, um, you know, he didn't pick up his blockers or whatever. But I want you to take a moment and just look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh, my God. I just lurked the absolute crap out of him. Like, I looked like I wasn't going to go to the drag. And it's just in a split second, turn around, go ahead and get that little curl route. It's going to be beautiful when Sean T, my user. That's all I'm going to say. Cause he he has like 91 speed, my that he the guy I'm using right now has like 88 speed, 89 speed. So just imagine how much better my user is gonna be. Like it's gonna be crazy when that happens. Um, and do expect I would say in probably the next week or so for that video to go up on the channel. Cause we we have some big stuff coming up on the channel. Not gonna lie, we have some really good stuff coming. Um, but you know this guy he was okay. Um, he did end up you know like making some dumb reads i think my offensive line really gave me good blocking today though because i mean he was at most times 73 we noticed it's a cover two right here in this place specifically though we go ahead and cover two bomb that with jamar and get it like 30 yards so you know we're set up at a, a first and 10 three minutes left in the second quarter we're gonna go ahead just motion people even if you know you're running the ball just do a couple fake audibles um motion some people motioning people is going to get him out of his element like you know like right here if i just go ahead and hike this ball like i think i do i don't know oh i do motion um but if i don't motion or you know do anything he's gonna know it's a run because i kind of like quick hike it anyway so you know you you try to play patiently run the ball and right there i get three i think we're getting like three yards of pop like every single carry which is really good I look at this ball right here with that josh island just puts on the money um, I went ahead and highballed this, so no, this was not going to get picked, even though he has Cam Chancellor. Um, if you go back and rewatch that play, it was going to the back of the end zone. So, you know, it was just high enough and too deep for the uh, safety to react to his user, and it was just over his head, and it was just a dot. Um, right here, he gets a quick little throw, you know what I mean, quick little throw. Um, and that was just a two-minute warning, that's why I kind of like sped up type thing. But right here, you notice his cover three, I've been in cover three mainly the whole game, to be honest. And he ends up making me pay right there with a little seam. Um, and right now, I just get stuck on the uh, D tackle. It's kind of tough. And he ends up throwing 
the little crossing pattern for the tight end. Um, and look at this stop right here. Look, look at this whole play, this whole series pretty much, right? First and 10, he ends up running the ball. Mind you, one minute left in the quarter. And, you know, he was like, okay, there's no way he's able to get this twice, right? There's no way. But guess what? They must not know who I am. We got that run defense. That was the perfect. We had people. We had uh, Micah Parsons looping backside. I was there to fill the gap. Even if I was blocked, we saw Micah backside. And right here, I need to find a way to cover that. Um, it was a cover three. I thought the um, cover three corner on that side would be able to play it. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Um, but I caught a timeout early enough. So, you know, right now I have 34 seconds. I think I could do something with this. I should be able to at least get three with this. Um, because I have two timeouts, you know, I have, I feel like my offense is pretty good enough to, for me to do something on offense, and look at Roy fighting, like, that, Roy is crazy, like, you know, he's kind of a, he's like 6'3", 215, 225, but he just drags bodies, he has a big frame, so he always gets, he's kind of like a Derrick Henry at running back, you know what I mean, so he's always getting pushed forward, he's never getting pushed back, and if it is, um, you know, he, it is what it is, right, like, it's one in like 10 times, Right there, you know, I was just hyping up Roy, and he ends up dropping the ball. But I think that was on me there. His route set goes off. It was kind of like a match coverage. Um, but, you know, you can't really you can't really fault yourself. But look at this play right here. I think what I did this whole game, just in general, was just being more patient and just waiting for Reese to develop. Because I could have thrown R1 and maybe fit it in a super tight window, but I instead wait and throw square super late. Mind you, I have one timeout left. And I just take my time out with three seconds left, and I go ahead and make an easy field goal uh, with Graham Gano. I ended up losing one of my games because I didn't have enough kick power, but I learned from my mistakes. I ended up getting a better kicker. He, uh, Graham Gano, I, I think like 85 kick power, so I don't need to worry about kick accuracy. If if I miss the kick on accuracy, that's on me. I don't that you you can't blame the kicker on that, but kick power you can. So I just had to make sure. I didn't like overspend on a kicker. I mean, I could, Justin Tucker has the most kick power out of 86 out of all kickers, but you know, just one uh, kick power short. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna overpay for a kicker. You know what I mean? But anyways, speaking of patience, you know, I was waiting. Like I said before, I got that three on the uh, before the half. This is perfect awareness, per, uh, perfect pressure, perfect everything. Like good block. Look at look at those blocks. Like, nothing was open for me. I could have probably taken something short. I, my first reads were, like, the the crossing route and the uh, running back out of the backfield. But, you know, unfortunately enough, those weren't open. But I had to wait. I knew something was going to get open. And look at Saquon fight for me. But I knew something was going to get open. I had to trust my reads. I had to trust in my offense, my offense and my wide receivers, ultimately. And right here, you know, we try to dial something up. You know what I mean? And this is just Josh Allen all right here. Not going to lie. He has everything back. He gets caught on the D lineman. But even like that, you know, D lineman rushes are going to be pretty good. But we get a perfect playmaker. He stops just at the nick of time. He sends his uh, his linebacker towards me to go get the quarterback. And we just throw it right over everybody. That was just a perfect play. And right here, this is, this is my user. I was in a match there. Everybody gets up, uh, end up getting perfectly boxed. But... You know, we didn't just uh, get the running back. And right here, this is when I knew I had him psychologically because he didn't want to make any sort of reads. He would check running back, check running back, check running back. And my first read would just go to running back. And look, look at him, five-yard, five-yard uh, dink and ducks. I thought I was able to play that. I had a hard flat out there. He ends up getting a little bit just inside of the hard flat. But um, we're just going to go ahead and do our thing. I had to make sure I covered the seams. We were in a match coverage here, and everything is boxed. He ends up throwing Waller short, but, you know, he didn't really see him instantly. So he ends up trying to come back to the ball after a throw out of sack. And now it's a second and 15. So, you know, there's uh, 34 seconds left in the quarter. He ends up throwing just a slant pattern. I try to make an open tackle. We try to make um, diving attempts. And unfortunately enough, it doesn't go our way. So the only person that's harming us right now is ourselves. Like, I have to just make sure I make people... I put people in the right positions to make plays and not just have them wherever, you know what I mean? But, like I said, Saquon had a really good game today. Like, he wasn't really busting any long runs, but we were getting, like, three yards of carry, getting him on his toes. And look at this right here. Speaking of Saquon, Saquon is just... And this is not even the 89 overall. This is the 84 overall Saquon Barkley. The one that I pulled from just a random uh, solo challenge pack. Like, I didn't even buy him. 
that is the crazy part. You know what I mean? I just get blessed with some good path look at times and you know, we, we do what we do here. And this is also part of, you know, my learning experience here. I could have thrown triangle maybe to see if I would have got that uh, pass leading right. Um, but I just throw it away, live to see another down. Like it's second and 10, I still have a lot of time on the clock to do something. And right here, I, ha I had his user mixed up because he thought I was going to call flood. He was expecting a corner route. He ends up going to the left side of the field. I thought I could, I thought it was a cover four. Cover, that's a cover four bomb right there, but I should have just taken my post I had there or even the in route. Both of them were super wide open if you go to watch that again. Um, so that's on me. I have to learn to uh, read the coverages better and just make smarter reads. If nothing's there, just go ahead and take the check down. Like, I mean, I was trying to initially, but right here, I'm not actually sure what happened here. Like, I mean, it was a bad throw by Josh, but I think that was, if accurately thrown, it probably would have been bombed. But um you know we're just gonna go ahead and do our thing he liked to throw a lot of flat routes and he gets an excellent block by 19 uh, well the other 19 not the one that's just gonna score on us but you know that's on us we played really aggressively towards the end of the game we tried to blitz heavily just so we can get him out of his element and look at his user right here like i'm not sure what he was doing with his user the whole time i thought maybe he thought i was gonna go running back i ended up just throwing the corner route right over him jamar just fights over one and now we just got like a 50 yard touchdown or not a 50 yard pass just because of his user mistake but right here i didn't really know what the route combinations were i didn't know what i was doing to be honest with you i just threw on a whole bunch of routes i thought it was cover two but he ends up using the seam and we ended up getting roy williams super late and that corner route i never run that play in general or that formation unless like you know i get one play or whatever but we go ahead and just see it to cover two throw over the corner just a, a low pass lead up, and it's a perfect throw by Josh. Like, Josh played amazing. Our whole all offense played amazing, to be honest. Um, and, you know, like I was saying earlier, once we get that Sean Taylor, this team's going to look a whole lot different. I'm just saying, like, we're going to be sending pressure um, out of all sorts of angles. You know what I mean? It's just going to create more uh, more people for us to, to blitz and, you know, put people in better stock to score and right here this is the game winning the game winning pick because he ends up quitting after this but right here you know i was in a just cover two i thought the corner wasn't able in a good spot but we ended up playing it um but you know guys that's gonna conclude this video like comment subscribe all of that i'm gonna be uploading tomorrow but you know until next time peace out